this one? How is his long reach going to benefit him in this bout? His reach. His advantage. reach. Advantage. His length. His reach. His long reach. He has the same reach, and the, 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 both of them have the same reach. There's no advantage for him. No advantage there. Talk about his opportunity. Er trägt die Reichweite vom Jab was auf die Außen zu tun. Er hat gar keine die Reichweite von beiden sind gleich. No, he's because Caleb is a little bit higher than him. Does that make a difference? Is he's high? Ob die Größe von ihm der irgendwie so ein bisschen größer gemacht. He fought always the bigger, the most of the time bigger. He fight guys who was head bigger than him. Because we're better than too small. What about his first opportunity in the United States? This is his first year to in the United States. first opportunity in America to box And what do you want to know? If he's happy about it? Yeah, how excited is he? He's aufgeregt or what? Okay. Also, he has made a media statement today as well in Germany. He's very, very happy to have the chance to fight in the United States. This was always his dream. He's very young. He's now getting 24 years old. And I just, just give you the statement which he has done in the German TV today. This was always his dream. He preferred to fight here in the USA than in Germany. Because here you have there are much better possibilities. Germany is now boxing on a low level, especially with chances for such a young rookie who has the whole boxing life in front of him still with 24 years. Others just getting a professional with 24, he already has done 32 fights. And uh, in Germany there's no market for him now. I, see, I think and he think his market is go international, the people love to see a puncher, a fighter, a guy with heart. And he, said he, he liked American people, he come here, everybody was nice to him, wherever he go, they take his cards, they cheer him up. And even he's the enemy, he's very happy, that's so fair, you know. He's come here as an enemy, but everybody's nice to him. So obviously he's got some heavy hands. Um, with this KO record, but um, like strong. Yeah, strong. I understand. You have heavy hands. But but how does he deal with KO's speed and slickness? Also, sie wissen, dass du einen schweren Hammer hast. Wie wie gehst du mit dem mit den schnellen Händen von Caleb Lenz um? Zeigt, dass ich auch schnell bin, schneller, dazu noch die Hände einschlagen. He say he will he will show you more, he's even faster, and then faster and harder. And then you will see when he when he get hit the first time. All of the opponents tell me this. I, luckily, I never got hit from him. And, but the, all the guys, really good guys, all number one of his country. I think he fights 17th number one of their country. And all of them, most of them retire after. Because when he, when he beat them, I don't know some boys come from. This is it's in his nature. Maybe he's born with a hammer. But when he beat them, the people tell me, first you feel nothing and then it's like shaking. So when, I hope that Caleb feel the same. So I just on hope that, that. No, those that have never seen him fight, like, what does he do special in the ring? What's his specialty? <laughs> was is dein specialty in the ring? Dein Spezial? Spezial was is dein specialty? So he don't have any. He's an all around. He's just an all around fighter, good at everything. Like, has he got, you know, his style? What, what are fans going to expect from him? Is he going to come forward? Is he going to box? Like, what? You expect to tell you this now? Oh. <laughs> also, you're asking. Is there any tactic? He, uh, he has his tactic. Without giving up your game plan. Tell him the tactic. Give him the tactic. Without your game plan. He jump around like a rabbit and he do nothing. This is tactic. Tell this to Caleb. <laughs> the rabbit tactic. Go ahead, you ask question. Maybe he changed it a little bit when, when the gong start. So without giving away your game plan, how does the fight go down? The game plan? How does the fight play out? What is your expectation? So, okay. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? He say he will win anyway. So. Okay, but nobody in America really knows him, so we'd like to get to know him a little bit. So can he just tell us a little bit about why he's excited to come here and fight Caleb Plant, the champion? and. Does he have any trepidations about coming to Nashville and fighting Caleb in his hometown? Also, es geht ja darum, wie du kommst nach Amerika und es kam Kemscher hier, der Local Hero in Amerika. Und dann willst du die Leute einfach mal kennenlernen, weil in Amerika kennt dich halt noch keiner. Und ähm, ich sag dir halt die Geschichte über Amerika. Du also, möchtest die, die, die Leute hier. Ich freue mich. Also. He feel very happy that he's here in America. And, and Germany is a very small, a very small point in the boxing world. Very, very small now because we don't have the big 
TV channels anymore. Have we, have, we, yeah. we have a very good promoter with Sauerland event, but we don't have the big TV channels like here in America. He has much better possibility, and he won't that the American people also give him a chance. They give him a chance to like his style, to like his, how he is. He don't talk that much, he's just fight. We can tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, does he have he's any words for Caleb? Hast du mit Caleb noch irgendeine Nachricht? Stay sporty, stay nice, if I go fishing with him maybe one time, he likes fish, he likes to fish. He loves the fishing, he never go anywhere, he's just fishing box. This is life, fishing and boxing. Can he uh, just talk about his toughest fight today? What's the biggest challenge he's had in the ring today? Until today? Up, up yeah. until this point, yeah. Oh. Well, the toughest fight will come now. I know, but before this fight, okay. what's been his what, previous what fight? What was your toughest fight? Well, maybe Liebenberg from South Africa or Decarolles, but he said with Decarolles he was just 20 years old. So, okay. so there's, the experience factor was what made it more difficult for him? Yeah, or was it also the age. The age you get a man now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very young. Okay. Yeah, what role was he when he first entered the gym and uh, what first drew him out of the box? Uh, uh, he was 14. 14. When he entered first the gym, he came out soccer. And then he regularly did kickboxing, he never had an amateur career. And then um, there was a, a very legend in our city, his name is Jürgen Lutz. He was a president of the WIBF from Barbara Patrick Smith, in credit to Germany. And, and then he said, okay, you can start a little bit boxing. He tried to boxing and then he beat him up in the gym. He was just 14, 15. And he said, come on, I make you a special license. We try it in a professional way. And he sent him in the ring and he went through knockout with the first fight. Just a way of street fighting. <laughs> He was 15 when he turned pro? 16, just 16, 16. with a professional in mind. Then he just fight. Did his mother know what he was doing? Yeah. <laughs> his, his father is here. I know his father's here, yeah. but did, did his mother know what he yeah, was sure. doing? Yeah, sure, both of them. <laughs> they have to sign. How, they have both how, how long have you guys been in Nashville, and how has the time change affected you? Also, the time change, how did you this? For him no problem because he didn't sleep the first night. So then he was very tired the, 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 the night after, so he can sleep. He was the only one of all of us. We all have fight more for the jet like him. When did you get here? On the fifth in the evening. Could you ask him to look at the camera when he answers, even though he's talking to you for the answer, oh. just look this way okay. so we can get him talking. Thank you. Can you introduce the team? Who are the team members? That's our friend Jürgen, just a friend of Jürgen, he's visiting us. Our cutman, world famous Dr. Herbert Effenberger. Our condition trainer, Costa Vatolidis from Greek. He is a former Muay Thai and kickboxing champion. He's the hard guy, but I think Vincent, you know, of course. Then we have technique tactic trainer, Eduard Michel. He's both of his sons are professional fighters now. They were very good Olympics. One of his sons he brought to the Olympic Games for Germany. And a father and cornerman Thomas. You are? I'm the manager. I'm the yeah, the girl for everything. Yeah. I clean the table, bring the tissue. We could tell that too. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Rainer Gottwald. Thank they call me the brain. All right. <laughs> we could tell that too. Good. Hi. Wait, what 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 um for, as far as like has he studied Caleb's style and what would be the things that he is not worried about, but what is he looking for from Caleb when he goes in the ring with him? Also hast du mit Caleb seine Technik, Technik, seinen Stil analysiert mit deinem Trainer und was denkst du darüber? Ja, du musst sich Videos angucken im Internet. Wir haben dementsprechend diesen Sparingspartner eben sich geholt. Und ganz normal vorbereitet. It's just was normal preparation as always. They looked, of course, the fights from Caleb. And then they took the Sparringspartners as Caleb to pit. We saw Caleb's Sparrings videos also. He, he put also, he, he, he took punches and we took sweet hands. So. Sweet hands. Yeah, What's so your prediction for the fight? My personal? You think manager or the Caleb? Or Vincent? What is your prediction for the fight? Prediction? Prediction? For the fight. For this fight, yeah? Yeah, for the outcome. So, yeah, I outcome. understand. He said he win. What round? Huh. It will happen as it happened, he said. And what did the trainer think? What did you do in the training preparation? 
since you watched Caleb's uh, films and everything, what did you do to prepare for this fight to make him ready? Also, du hast ja Caleb seine Kämpfe angeschaut und dann hast du Vincent vorbereitet. Was hast du getan und in der Vorbereitung, was denkst du darüber? Sie sehen, also in der ersten Runde schon, dass was wir vorbereitet haben. He said you will see in the first round that you have prepared. Auf jeden Fall, er erwartet bestimmt nicht, was sie erwartet. Auf jeden Fall, Blaine erwartet andere. Also, it will be different than Blaine expects. Be different than Plan expects. Be a surprise. Okay. They do maybe something different. Don't ask me. I was also. They, they kicked me out too. They did. So you basically you have full confidence coming into this fight. It seems from the team, full confidence that you walk away with the with the belt. Right? But we should come here, otherwise we stay home. Well, it's a good challenge. You got to give the kid credit. He is the champ. We have the chance. We have nothing to lose. He's so young. Yeah. He give us best. He wants to be in America, he wants to see the world. Yeah, you know, check. To... Yeah, good, the check is not... <laughs> not bad. Yeah. <laughs> you know the check? No. Yeah, then, then we will cry. <laughs> oh, dear. It's about a fight. No boxing it's about the win. Yeah. Are you, this is are what you guys else, staying Tim? around to see to visit other parts of America after the fight, or are you going right back? Yeah. We're going home. Nashville is it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw some more, but Vincent, in the future, maybe he gets some more chances. He may, yeah. Maybe people say, hey, you're a good fighter, we want to see you again back, here. Right? This is why he come here. Okay. Maybe then the price is better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the chances. Yeah. What about country music? Are you familiar with Nashville and the country music scene and how people from that come to Nashville to seek their fame and fortune, just like you're doing Saturday night? <laughs> Here, for sure, everybody was excited, also especially his brother and his uh, sister-in-law. And they, sh they look, they know Nashville is the Johnny Cash yeah. country music, and it's nice. And we went also one time to this Broadway, to Broadway. here in every in every bar, not different music, but all of them can sing maybe better than all of the German country singers. <laughs> really amazing, also. Yeah. And the people are nice. We have seen that we was at the Pandemon, the Greek, is Greek because he's from Greek, because that's from Greek. Yeah. They have the copy of the of this Greek monument. Nice. The food is a bit of a problem in America, I saw. This is only cheese and noodles and we was missing some good food. You want some what? Schnetzel? Yeah, this was a bit of a problem. Yeah, to no find good food. Right? Yeah, it's a good restaurant, not, not 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 cheap, but the food inside is they will kill you for that in Germany. Yeah, this is a disaster. <laughs> I don't know. We might, we might have to find you a German restaurant. A I told him a German bakery, a German butcher it? shop, and a German restaurant. They get rich here. Of course. Vincent, if you, know, you apple strudel. If yeah, you yeah, win on Saturday, how will we celebrate? We wish fire and we do on Samstag. Yeah, I got He don't know, you will see that. He have no idea. It's just fine and we fly back home. There you yeah. go. Visit the Johnny Cash Museum. Thanks, Vincent. Thank you.